My Saturday morning has already been wild. <laughs> I fell asleep last night watching Fast and Furious something. I don't remember. Um, I don't know why I watch movies like that. It just gets my anxiety in an uproar, and then I get totally invested in it. Before you know it, by the end, I'm crying. And uh, I fell, Maverick boy fell asleep with me watching it with a ring pop on each thumb. Two ring pops, one on each thumb. Took me an hour to get those ring pops off his thumbs after he fell asleep, because every time I touched him, he woke up. I was like, I was like, no, you can cavity. And I had to get a warm, wet, soapy washcloth and clean him up. Okay, so I put him in bed. He goes to sleep. I go to bed. I wake up this morning. I hear him upstairs pouncing around. So I thought, I'm playing dead. It's Saturday morning. I'm not quite ready to wake up yet. I'm going to play dead. So I lay there in the bed, lifeless. He comes downstairs, and I can feel him. his breath is on my face. It wasn't stinky or nothing. Not him. He's too adorable for stinky breath. He's just hovering over me, staring, and I'm trying not to get tickled. I'm just laying there. When I feel a little finger go up my nose, I was like, be brave, Winelda, be strong. Won't be the first time that brain got kicked. I just lay there. He got the, he got one little finger up his nostril. He got another little finger up his nostril. And just, I was like, oh. My little eyes started watering, but I thought, I'm getting 30 more minutes of sleep or dying, trying. Then, I feel his little hand. I, I hope it wasn't the same hand, but I think it was. <laughs> Full of my mouth open. Before you know it, his entire little six-year-old fist is inside my mouth. I thought, it's all right. It's okay, because as a nurse, she was taught to suction the nasal cavity first and then the oral cavity. The nasal cavity is cleaner. It's okay. If he had his fingers up your nostrils, now it's in your mouth. You're going to get 30 more minutes of sleep. That's going to be totally worth it. This is the best day ever. Well, by this time I'm awake, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. So I pull this move to flop over on my right side because I thought maybe if I turn my back to him, he'll quit putting his fingers up my nose and in my eyes and in my ears and in my mouth. It's not what I wanted for breakfast. So I do this crazy move and I flop over on my right side. And what does he do? He shimmies up the back of my sleep shirt, and then I feel his little his little left toes, his little jagged toenails start sliding down my bloomers on the left butt cheek. I thought, where are we going with this? Before you knew it, he was inside my clothes with me. He had his legs through my leg holes, and his head was up through my head hole on my shirt. So it's kind of like an Ace Ventura moment, you know, when they come out there in the fight pit with the little warrior. <laughs> That's what, I had one on my back. I had a gremlin on my back. He was stuck to me. I thought, you ain't never getting out of this one, Elder. Because at this point, I done decided I'm going to sneak out of bed. As soon as he falls back asleep, I'm going to slide out of here all mom ninja-like. And I thought, you ain't never getting out of this predicament. He wiggled himself free, though, and he rolls over on his side. And that was my moment to shine. It took me about, oh, about four minutes to get out of that bed without waking him up. But I did. I got to the bottom of that bed, and I slid it off, and I was like, So now I'm up here and I got my coffee pot going. I'm getting ready to get a load of laundry started on this Saturday morning. I got to get the house picked up. I got to get some laundry going before Maggie wakes up. Because what she's going to do is going to come to me and be like, can we go to the pool today, Mom? And she's going to ask it every three minutes until I take her. Because that's mom life. I'm going to attempt to go up here and wash a load of laundry in this washer and dryer. I don't know who upgraded the appliances around here to where the washer and the dryer have their own ringtone. But my washing machine, she is sassy. Sassy. I don't know how to work it. There was a water button on it, and I hit the other day, and it fills up with water, and the lid's not even closed. I was like, awesome. Awesome. I hate when the lid locks. I want the water in there before the lid locks. I'm old school. I want old school. And this is top load, too. Super excited about it being a top load. After it got full of water, I lifted the lid, because I thought, what are we doing? Why aren't we washing? Why aren't we spinning? Why, why, are, why are we not agitating at this point? And it has a digital screen on it. And it come up on there. Please close my lid while I soak. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm up here apologizing to a washing machine. I'm, excuse me. I just walked back downstairs. I don't know what that was. I don't know. I don't know. I have made, I have, I said, how y'all wear these headbands on your hands with 
Oh, that looks, that's a good look right there. Let's just go with that. Happy Saturday. <laughs>